What's up, everybody? It's your boy Jay Short, and I am back with episode two of the Head Honcho Sports Podcast here on YouTube. Um, and today we're going to be talking about the NBA season. You know, the NBA season is here, it starts tonight, October 19th, 2021. You know, and I'm excited for this season. You know, it's um, it's going to be crazy to see, you know, these teams and, and, you know, how they gel and how they, you know, play throughout the season. Um, you know, I was going to give you guys some predictions, you know, um, tell you guys who I think, you know, would would would, you know, be in the final final four, if you will, um, in that Eastern Conference, Western Conference championship area um, and the finals as well. So um, let's get right to it. Um, first, I'm going to talk about the Bucks, defending champs, Milwaukee Bucks, um, reigning finals MVP, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, Brooke Lopez, Bobby Portis. You know, they're just, they're a complete team, you know, and I said it last year, they're a complete team. Um, they've they have really gelled as far as playoff intensity and playoff experience. They, they, they know what comes with that now, and they know what to do when they're faced with adversity in the playoffs. You know, um, you saw a couple years back, you know, Giannis lose against Toronto. Um, you know, last year they were losing against uh, Miami in the second round. And that was tough, you know, because it was a learning experience. You know, Giannis, he'd never seen a defense like that. You know, Eric Spolstra is a great coach. And he used the right schemes to set Giannis up, so to speak, because they literally built a wall. And, you know, some people were like, okay, what is Giannis going to do now, you know? And he he just, he he didn't play a complete game. You know, he wasn't himself because he couldn't penetrate and you know finishing the lane and stuff like that so he had he had nothing to he had nowhere to go um and then you saw this past this past um playoffs where it sort of clicked for him and for the coaching staff I'll say that because the coaching staff they I felt as if the the, the last season coming in I felt as if they needed to do a better job of setting Giannis up to be successful um because Mike Budenholzer, their head coach, I I just didn't feel that he put Giannis in the right spots and put the right schemes on on the court for Giannis and for the for Milwaukee as a whole, because like I said, you saw they built a wall in front of Giannis, and you know it could have just been a quick little post up or every time every time you come up the court, pick and roll, get straight to it, you know you can't allow the defense to set up because when they set up, it's just, they're going to stay that way for the 24 seconds, you know? And that's what, that's what we saw against uh, Miami when Milwaukee played Miami. Um, and that's why they lost. So, and you know, Giannis, he didn't play, I believe it was one game or two games, but you know, that wasn't really, that wasn't really, you know, effective because, you know, it was already, the work was already done. And like I said, going into this playoffs, um, like I said, it, it sort of clicked for the whole entire team and coaching staff to whereas, you know, they needed to set Giannis up to be successful. They needed to play through him and play the way, play to his strengths. And they needed to let Chris Middleton take them home. Giannis controls the game from start to finish, but in the last two minutes of the game, Chris Middleton needs the ball in his hands. And that's what they put emphasis on. You saw it with Miami, you know, you saw it because we swept them. You know, and Chris Middleton hit a game winning shot. I believe that was game one. Um, so it was it was it was like, you know, it was evident that, you know, it clicked for him. And, you know, you saw that throughout the whole playoff. You know, they played to Giannis strengths. So, um, you know, hopefully they have a great season. Um, I believe they will not repeat this year, although they were they're going to make it to the Eastern Conference Finals. No doubt. I believe, you know, Brooklyn, if they have Kyrie, it's going to be tough for anybody, anyone to beat them, not just Milwaukee. Um, you know, Brooklyn just brings a, a entire entirely different dynamic to the game. They have three of the best scores in the league, you know, and three of the best players in the world, really. 
and they're all pure hoopers. You know, I always say it's a difference between a pure hooper and a basketball player. So they have three pure hoopers on their team, you know, and it's it's going to be tough to, you know, put up buckets with them. You know, they're going to put up consistently 115 a game, 120 a game, and they're going to have to deal with that because and you're going to you're going to have to play with them because they have they have um, they don't have really a defensive scheme. They, they're an offensive minded team, no doubt. So their defense is lackluster and you're going to have to score with them to win the game. Um, but if Kyrie isn't available, you know, it's going to be tough for Brooklyn because, you know, even with Katie and James, it's still going to be tough because, you know, like I said, Giannis is coming back. You know, Atlanta, you got to think about Atlanta. You know, Trey Young is tough. You know, they're a group. They're a group of young guys. You know, they have Lou, Lou Williams over there. You know, he's the vet. And they're just a group of young guys ready to, you know, ready to win, you know, and and they were right there. They were right there for for a couple of games in those in the in last year's playoffs against Milwaukee. You know, they 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 show that they can, you know, contend and for the years to come, they're going to be the team to beat. I believe that. And Trey Young, he hasn't hit his stride yet. I believe, you know, he has much more, much more room to grow. And um, yeah, we're going to see how Atlanta plays. You know, uh, hopefully they'll get you know, progress throughout the season. But, you know, going back to Brooklyn, it's like, you know, when Kyrie isn't there, it's it's just, it changes your game a little bit, you know, because James Harden is like the point guard there. Kyrie was the, you know, off-ball guard, you know, scoring guard. And KD, he was just KD, you know. And like I said, with two two pure hoopers, two all, all-world scorers, it's still going to be tough to beat them. But it's, it's you know, it's going to be easier a little bit because they – they really don't, they're really losing out on, you know, 25 points, you know, a game or, or almost 30 points a game, you know, and, um, going to the Western conference with the Lakers, this team is crazy. You know, I saw a lot of memes, you know, and they were saying like, what if this team was assembled, you know, five years ago and, and everyone was in their prime, it would, it would have been crazy. But, um, you know, they're a little older, they're a little on the older side, but you know, experience is the best, is the best, um, you, you need to have experience in the playoffs. You know, it's 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 going to be a tough game. You know, it's going to be a mental game come to come to come playoff time. And, you know, you have to you have to deal with that. You know, you have to play mind games. You know, LeBron is he has one of the best IQs in the league, you know, and older guys. They've they've been through everything. You know, they've been there. They've done that. You know, the only thing is they haven't won the championship. They haven't gotten over that hump yet. So, you know, the Lakers are going to be tough to beat. They really are. You know, um, I believe. You know, if if Kyrie doesn't play this season, I believe the Lakers will be the front runner because, you know, like I said, it, it's just their experience, you know, and their and they their whole team, they're they're still great players, you know, they're still, you know, Carmelo Anthony's towards the end of his, you know, end of his time, you know, he still can put up buckets for sure. There's no doubt about that. Um, Anthony Davis, he's in his prime right now. He needs to lead that team. He needs to be the focal point of that team. You know, he needs to, you know, come out aggressive. Average, you know, 27 a game, you know, 12 rebounds a game, five assists. You know, those need to be his numbers consistently. You know, Dwight Howard's going to do his thing, you know, come in off the bench, get rebounds. I don't know if he's going to start, but, you know, he's going to do his thing, you know. And Russ, you know, he's a triple-double monster. You know, he's going to be all around the floor, bring energy and stuff like that. So, you know, you have you have those guys to where, you know, you 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 expect them to win. You know, you expect them to do something. You know, the key word for them is health. You know, like I said, they're a little bit older in age, so they need to be healthy. And um, like I said, towards the beginning, um, Milwaukee, Brooklyn, L.A., Atlanta, you know, Phoenix, I believe Phoenix can, you know, get back to where they were. However, they can't. I don't think they can get past the Lakers. You know, the Phoenix was a tough team, you know, and um, this past, you know, this, these past couple of days, they haven't, give, they haven't given DeAndre Aiden his, his rookie extension. So, you know, he's upset about that. So, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be tough for them to, you know, get back to where they were and stuff like that. So. Um, like I said, we'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, Denver's up there. You know, Portland's up there in the Western Conference. You know, in the Eastern Conference, you have Philly. You know, my my Bulls. You know, Chicago Bulls. I'm a Chicago guy, so um, my Bulls. You know, I feel as if they're going to be great. They're going to be a great basketball team. You know, they're going to be exciting to watch. In the preseason, they blew everyone out of the water. I know it's preseason, but you know, you know, I'm excited to see how they grow and how they progress during the season. And I believe we can actually contend. You know, we're gonna. I believe we're gonna make the playoffs. I believe we're, you know we're gonna be one of those top five teams in the Eastern Conference. And so um, with that being said, this is the end of episode two of the Hey Honcho Sports Podcast. You guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and I will see you guys in episode three.